Hey guys, it's Christina here. I was just going to do a video on the contouring that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, and we'll get started. Um, when I do my contouring, I actually put my foundation on first. So I put cream foundation all over my face. Um, you can tell my face looks pretty flat. But, um, I did my eyes too. You can do this as well if you want. If you're worried about stuff falling in, you know, your like highlighting and everything around your eyes. So if you want to do your eyes first, you can. You don't have to for this video. I did. Um, some days I do, some days I don't. It's not really, you know, that big of a deal. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that I like to do is I start with my concealer. I use the dark. Um, and what I do is I put this in the areas in my cheeks that already have like a natural shadowing. So you can see kind of here. Um, it's not obviously very obvious. So when you make your little faces, when you go, you can really see it. So let's get this on there. Just like that. So you have a line. Goes right with that. Um, what I'm using is the Moonstruck Minerals Concealer. Um, I like this a lot because it's the powder. I don't wet it down for the dark. See? Just like that. And then I like to put some on my nose. Sorry, my little baby's getting grubby. Hey, Noah, can you give her her pacifier? Then, like, when you put it on your nose, um, it thins your nose out. So you want to make sure that however thin you want your nose, that's where you put the line. If you put them out here, you're going to have a really big nose. Does that make sense? Can you see with just my fingers? That makes my nose look huge. That makes my nose look skinnier. So that's what you have to do. Hey, Noah, can you give the baby her pacifier? Thank you. And take it around the edge a little bit, right under the tip. And then I even take it over here a little bit, just a little bit. You do not have to take it all the way to your eyebrow. I've seen some people do that. I don't, I don't. I haven't noticed it causing a difference. Also, naturally, the darkness is around your hairline. So I like to put this around my hairline as well. Just like that. See? Um, and I use a pretty dark color. I use the Fierce for the concealer. Um, but I really like it. I like that it's a powder. No, there you go. See? 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 Go a little bit there. Okay. Now. Make sure my lines are straight, otherwise I'm going to have a crooked nose. I mean, nobody likes a crooked nose. Okay, I think my nose is crooked anyway, so it's already a battle. Um, let's see here. Now, I like to use um, the BB cream, but you can use um, pretty much anything you want. You don't have to use the BB cream. You can use the concealer instead if you want um, to do, and you can use it wet or dry. Um, but I just like the consistency of the BB cream. I think it's easy to put on. Um, and so what I do is I like to have it lighter through here. So I just stick it on a brush and go down, go across, kind of fill in a little bit. Same thing here, across, down, fill in a little bit, squirt some more, kind of on your brush, down, here, you need to make sure. And you always want to put your lightness like where na light naturally hits your face. So you, you know, if you just look in the mirror, you can usually see, um, if you do have dark circles, you want to stick it right where that circle is of where that, what shadow would be. And that will help with those bags. And if you put your head down, you can see right where those lines are. Um, and then you always want to take one little line right down the center of your nose. Boop. Okay. Now here's the fun part. This is our blending. Woo. Okay. So, the way that I blend, you can blend with a brush or whatever. I like to blend with my fingers. For here, I just do little circles. When I get this blended, just little baby circles. I don't like to do lines like that. 
You just do little circles. Um, you don't want to do big circles or you'll just blend it out way too much. You want to still have a line after you're done blending. See my line still? My line's still there. You don't want to lose that. Otherwise, there's no point. That's why I put my foundation on first as well because I feel like sometimes it just smears and covers everything up. And Unless you have a powder foundation only. But I like cream. I like the full coverage. Again, see? See my line? Just blended it. Same up here. I blend up here, but I also like to use a brush to blend after I blend up here. So, use my fingers and blend. This is all blended. Same with your nose. Now my nose, that one I like to kind of take down a little bit. Just press it down. Just a little bit here. And then once I get that, you want to blend in your light color. Now this, you can kind of do little circles and tap. You do not want to blend this out all the way. You want to see your lightness. You want to see your darkness. My lines, see my lines? You want to see those. Otherwise, there's no point in contouring if you're not going to be able to see it. So, um, some people like to use a brush. I'm a finger girl. I always use my fingers. Um, so it's up to you. I put it on with a brush, but I always blend with my fingers. I just feel like I have more control of the product. And just kind of tap. Same with up here. Just kind of tap and blend out just a little bit. And nose. Just blend. Just blend a little bit. Make sure you blend under your nose, even though people won't see it very much. Make sure you still blend that. Okay, so you can see that you can still see where all of my light marks were. Can you see this? See, you can see where that one is, that one, that one. Uh oh, we gotta go quick, we gotta go quick. Now, um, hey Noah, can you give her her passy one more time? Now, you take your pressed powder, and this is what softens this whole entire look. So you kind of put it all over. So I like to put this everywhere. And that helps blend in up here. Blends my nose, everything. And then I like to finish with my blush. Just remember, the blush goes up here, but not up here and not in your dark line. So take your blush, smile, just like this. I take it in like a C shape. Uh oh, we're almost done. Hey, now can you give her a pacifier, please, baby? Really, really quick. Okay. Thank you. And then we'll go get her. I think she's just tired today. <laughs> We've been out a lot. Okay. So, and my look is finished. What do you guys think? Now you have a full face that's actually contoured. Obviously, you don't have to do that. But it just gives you a really nice look. You're not so flat. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is KNM Lashes. So I'd love for you to subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos soon. Thanks so much. Bye.